Hello friends, we're in Hornwall, Tennessee with Representative Monty Fritz. Monty, you sponsored a bill. Our governor, Bill Lee, signed it to call the state of Tennessee to prayer and fasting. Tell us about this bill and you know how you birthed this and, and got it passed in you know, the legislature. Sure, we, this actually started last year. We uh, were having lots of discussions about taking your rights away from you to solve problems that we have. That's not the answer. It's not the Constitutional American answer. It's not Tennessee answer. And and our our uh, as the resolution says, you know, violence and drugs and alcohol, corruption have consumed our state and nation, and uh, we need a miracle. Uh, we need we, a miracle, or we, Jesus needs to come back we, one, right? That well, both. We yeah. need both. But uh, in the meantime, I don't think He's called us here to be timid little spirits and just allow everything to be stripped away from us for our streets to be filled with violence, for our homes filled with violence, drunkenness and addiction and the corruption. So uh, it's really our appeal to heaven. Amen. Uh, it, we, we, uh, we can't legislate our way out of the hole we're in. We can't budget. We can't spend our way out of the hole we're in. We need a miracle. We need God. That means God's people have to look up to Him. It's the whole Zechariah chapter 1 thing where God says, if you'll turn to me, and was it not you when you were speaking earlier that said uh, this was a spiritual problem, not a physical problem? It's not something that we could fight. It, it is a spiritual battle. It is. I think the, all of the, the physical battles that we have are the result of the spiritual battle. And this is certainly the move of darkness on this earth. There's a spirit of Antichrist in Babylon, I think, in our America and in our state of Tennessee. Well, not and, only that, Satanists and globalists are yeah, trying to destroy yeah, our country. Yeah. And it, one of the things I said there, I've, I've spoke several places today, so I don't remember if I said this here or there, but uh, the uh, our founders and our framers, uh, they defeated the British, which was the one world, they were the one world government of the 1770s, and they defeated them, but they did that by humbly seeking God's help. And if we're to win our nation back, you know, that, that Declaration of Independence that we'll celebrate in a few days, it is more than a declaration of independence from Great Britain. It is a declaration of dependence upon God Amen. Almighty. We don't teach that in our schools because we've decided that's not politically correct. But it is a declaration of dependence. And so I'm hoping that we go into July as Tennesseans with a declaration we're going to be more dependent on Him and trust Him and yield our lives to Him. Representative Fritz, thank you so much for joining us today. And I, as a politician, thank you for standing for yep, righteousness. Yep in our state. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, brother. You, brother.